Good morning, everybody. It's Min and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we got Aversa to come back from the dead da -da -da -da, and join our group. And she actually had a bit of a redemption arc in her story, as opposed to the other guys who were just like, I'm dead. And we're like, no, you're not. Something stupid and join us. Like, no. Yes. Okay. So I do like the story that they gave her. And that was a really hilarious thing in battle, how he just used all the old allies. And it was the most uh, useful tactic. And the best part is I didn't use any of uh, my weapons, so I don't have to go restock anything. Hooray! In this episode, we are getting supports for Lucina and Tiki, finally, and Bastilo and Flavia, which means I'll go ahead and use that uh, Seed of Truth or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, Seed of Trust on Bastilo and Flavia in the next battle. For now, let's finally get some communication sessions up in this hizzy. <laughs> yeah! Ugh! Gah! Working on your fencing, I see. Right. I was just finishing my drills. Listen. I saw you helping out earlier, serving the soldiers their meals. Um. I had some free time, so I thought I'd pitch in. I see. And before that, you were helping unload the wagons. <laughs> well, I'm stronger than I look. Those crates are no problem for me. <sighs> and before that, you went to m the market to purchase supplies. Honestly, it's hard to find a job or a chore you're not helping out with. It's a fine thing you're doing, trusting to build the bonds of friendship and trust, but it will all be in vain if you work yourself to the sick bed. No. Oh, I'm fine, truly. I can handle it. Huh? You're trying to emulate King Moth, aren't you? By winning the trust of the other soldiers, you hope to become a great leader. What? No, not at all. This is just how I am. Besides, I doubt legendary warriors wasted time cooking stews and going shopping. She builds trust in one's allies without even thinking about it. Could she truly pee? Huh? I beg your pardon, Tiki. Were you saying something? No. Apologies. I was lost in thought, all alone. But Lucina, I must tell you something. Taking the name Marth was a fateful decision of great import. <laughs> How so? I cannot be sure of your intention in taking the name, but few dare compare themselves to a legend, and this set you on a path. The name invokes envy and hope in others, and burdens you with their expectations. Like it or not, you carry that weight now. The only question is, will it crush you? No. I never realized. <sighs> Can you carry the hopes and dreams, the demands of so many? <sighs> I don't know. I know I can't ever be like the real Marth. No one can, unless you're in Smash Brothers where everyone with a sword is like the real Marth. But if it's true what you say, and people have started to look to me, then I shall never rest until every friend has achieved their dream. I see. Good. You know the nature of your task. This is the key to victory. You have my gratitude. I have to thank you for opening my eyes. I won't let you or anyone down. I believe you mean this, but remember your allies you face are your greatest challenges. A true hero knows when to admit she cannot go it alone. All right. I will take your words to heart. We will win this all-out war, together. <laughs> Spoken as Moth might have himself. Oh, I think that's the sweetest communication you could have with Tiki and another character, so I'm glad that we got that one maxed out. As for the other ones with Robin and uh, uh, Anna, I'm just going to be whatever if we reach it or not. As for Basile and Flavia, let's see what they got. Yes. You have a moment, Flavia? No. When it comes to you, Ove, I never have a moment. <laughs> oh, yes, too busy sharpening that razor wit along with your swords, I'm sure. But, uh, but perhaps this will warm that icy heart of yours. Find mead from an old country. Have a drink. Let's talk a bit. Oh my. Mead. Well, well, Basilo. If I don't know better, I'd say you were up to something. All right. Look, do you want some or? <laughs> yes. Pour me a mug, a large mug. Mind, and you can have your talk. <clears throat> Take care not to spill it. No, this blast. This plastic costs. Well, th this blasted stuff cost me a fair bit of coin. Now then, I was wanting to ask you, <clears throat> just between the two of us, eh? 
There are plenty of good men in this army of Kroms, wouldn't you agree? So, uh, have you taken a shine to anyone? What? Gods preserve us. What are you up to, Oaf? I smell a trap. If you think I'm going to list my crushes like a giddy schoolgirl, then you... I don't know. Must you question everything, woman? It's just idle banter, nothing more. Here, have another mug of mead. Tasty, isn't it? Now come. You can tell old Basilo. My only aim here is to know you better. Right. Hmm. You couldn't ply me with the mead in any case. I could drink you under the table. Fine, then. I suppose Krom is quite handsome in his way. Hold on. Not exactly a barrel of laughs, is he? Always has his nose buried in those maps. Not to mention that hair. A bit much, don't you think? Overcompensating, I'd say. <laughs> Your turn, then. What lady do you fancy? Oh, God. What? Me? Well, uh, I suppose that Lucina lass isn't half bad. She's a baby in your timeline and from the future, and she's still... Oh, whatever. This... this is why I don't go for the communication sessions for romance purposes. I think not. Yeah, she's half your... Thank you for saying it, but Grom's half your age, probably. <laughs> that ripe coming from you. You're old enough to be Grom's mother. I told you about my new sword, didn't I? Oh, it's sharp enough to shave with. Listen. Feel the edge on your neck there. Look how those whiskers just fall away. To take it easy, Flavia, just put that sword down and we can... I could crush you. Keep talking? Yes, why don't we? I believe you were saying something about my age. Oh, yes, only how young and vibrant you look these days. Enough, you simpering simpleton. Get out of my sight and leave this mead. But it's my last bottle. <laughs> and you're on my last nerve. Now go, or your next shave will be with death. Hell no. Curse you, woman. I shall have revenge, or my name's not Basilo the Brave. <sighs> First time I've ever heard that name, at least. Oh, that goes about, like, that's basically every communication session in uh, Fates and Echoes, where it's just like, Rank C, I hate you. Rank B, I really hate you. Rank A, I despise you. Rank S, but that's because I love you. And, like, there's no S rank for them. Like, even, even though they don't have a child unit attached to either of them, they can't romance, it seems, which is kind of unfortunate, because obviously we would ship the two of them together, because they're a couple of beefy old farts. That's a great way to describe a fart. Uh, but yeah, I kind of wish we could uh, get them rank S even if there isn't a child unit in it for us. But whatever. You can only get a child unit if you pair them up with a Robin, but again, that's really stinking weird, so don't do it. Uh, but yeah, we have one more paralog to go before the final boss. And it is a rather unique one. Because it is not a character we have met before, it is not someone returning from the dead and kind of ruining the dramatic tension of all those epic moments when someone fell in battle, but instead, it is a brand new ally. Let's go ahead and meet up with them, shall we? I stand corrected. It seems the rumors of a hidden village were true. Mm. Indeed, but could a descendant of the Radiant Hero truly reside here? I still have my doubts. Huh? What do you all know about this Radiant Hero anyway? Right. Only what legends tell, that he is an unparalleled warrior from another world. They say he felled thousands with a divine blade blessed by Ashera herself. I see. Interesting. Then, if his descendant exists and possesses even a tenth of his skill... <laughs> exactly. Strength like that could be of great use to us. This assumes he would be even fight for you. A bold assumption, that. <laughs> what? When did you... <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'm Priam, the hypothetical descendant you were just going on about. Really? What? Well, well met then. I'm Krom of Ulysses. I apologize if I sounded presumptuous. Though I see I was clearly correct in my assumptions about your strength. <sighs> Flattery is cheap, friend. Very cheap. So, to what do I owe the honor? A royal's come all this way just to enlist me? Hmm. 
yes, actually. Got it. Interesting. But I have little interest in following someone else's orders. Unless they're handed down by a man who could fight for himself. Hmm? And if I prove I'm such a man? Prove it and see. Hmm. Huh, right to the point, I see. I think I like you already. Very well, I accept. A descendant of Ike, the Radiant Hero, will join us if we defeat him in battle. But can't we all just get along? The fate of the world's at hand here. Do we need to fight an army of 50 guys? Oh! I don't want to do this. Oh my god, this is gonna... Oh wait, we have a big group ourselves. A group of 30? Um, excuse me for a moment. What? We could have a, oh no. I'm actually going to get in trouble for not having every character used throughout the entire LP. Oh, poopy. Huh. This will be something. But yeah, what do I want to do even? Well, let's use the characters I always use, of course. Uh, Olivia, Noe, Payne, Larja, Seiri, Lanku, Aversa. I guess you're coming with us. Cherish, Tiki. Uh, Fui. Well, I guess this gives me an opportunity to show off the new units that we've gotten. Lavia, Basilo. It's like 13 more. Walmart. I don't think I have 13 more to choose. Yenfei. Anna. Grangle. Do I want any of these guys? Oh, God. Let me see this for a second, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then, like, if we removed, say, 1, 2, uh, 3. And I was wondering if, like, it had, like, the exact amount of characters we've gotten for, like, the main story, but I don't think that's the case. There's, like, 9 more, though. But none of them are actually useful. I assume Morgan and... Oh, creepy hand man. Uh, phooey. God darn it. Why? Why you? Hmm. Gotta be smart here. Morgan, Owain, Yarn. Uh. Be nice just to have another healer. Maybe Maribel. Well, no. Uh, we'll bring Libra in. Five more. Henry, unfortunately, would be probably one of the more useful ones. Uh, who else we got? Cordelia, flying unit's always nice. Three more. This is so weird. Emmerine, but she can't do anything. Maybe she can if I just give her some stuff. Let's try it out. She's with us for good now, so I don't have to worry about her dying. It's gonna be weird, though. Two more. Um, they're not going to be useful no matter who I choose, so... Maribel, I guess, just because she's a horse rider and a healer. And then... Another horse rider and Sully, I suppose. The ultimate fighter from my first playthrough, I guess. That's a fitting choice, I suppose. So we gotta get Emmerine suitor for battle. Let's see what I could give her. I was not expecting to have a team of 30 characters. Oh boy. This is going to be an insane stinking fight. Also really stupid. Like, why... We're trying to save the world. The dragon is stinking here. We have no time for this thing. Why can't you just help us save the world? 
Oh God. 30 versus 50. 50 stinking units. This is going to be a long stinking episode. Oh wait, also I forgot to give. Uh, let's give it to Basila. Oh, he's got full inventory. She's got full inventory. Uh, we'll trade the Worm Slayer for the Seed of Trust, just because we kind of need to use that, this part. Oh boy. You ready for the fight of our lives? Let's do this. If it's outright stinking impossible, either I'll off-screen train or I'll make it a bonus video in the future. Because this guy doesn't really have any importance to the story. It's just a cool extra. But still, I would very much like to overcome this battle. What do I even do? I suddenly regret saying that, like, Oh, I wish all the battles let me have all my characters. But not anymore. Oh god, this is going to be like a million hours long. Uh, let's see what we could do. I can't even find my sinking characters on this thing. Uh, Tiki max out with Lucina, so I don't have to keep pairing them up. Uh, in order to get him to join you, there's no like special thing you have to do. You don't have to talk to him, you don't have to do anything like that. You just gotta win this fight. That's all you gotta do. Easier said than done, though, of course. So, whose relationship am I working with? Flavio and... Flavia and Basilo. Uh, let's go ahead and pair them up. We'll have... Uh, uh, Anna, you could go with Tiki, I guess. Um, if you want to continue that a little experiment, I suppose. Oh, God, what do I even do with any of these guys? Alyssa with Frederick. We'll have... Um, oh, they're cousins in this universe. Okay, whatever. Um, oh, that means he's related to Lucina. Ew. Well, I guess he'd always be related to Lucina in some way. Uh, I don't even know what I want to do. Noe with pain? Nah. Noe with cherish. Let's, uh, let's actually, like, make good pair-ups. Um, Longku with pain. Uh, Tharja works well with Noe. Oh, god darn it. Tharja's usually fine on her own, though. I feel like these two would make a good comedy routine. There's no real point, though. Like, the only reason just to pair up weak units with strong ones is so uh, they could get possibly uh, like little mini stat boosts and also the chance of them defending attacks. So... It's not completely out of the question, though. Uh, let's have... Uh... Lucina, you could go with... Um... Krom? Do I want that? Because I don't want Krom and Ramen together. It's always such a risky combination. Even though I sort of asked for it. For this fight specifically, I'm not going to do it. Oh, Krom can't do that. So, Krom, go with Lucina. Robin has a lot of good friends in this army. Robin and Seiri is maxed out. Uh, we'll do it anyway. Olivia. Uh, you're going to go with... Um... Is Olivia our last, like, actual character that we have? I think so. We're gonna go with... Yenfei? Uh, I should have put her with Emery, though, to keep her safe. I don't know. Henry... Uh... I guess I'll put you with Tharja. We'll put Emery with... 
this is a messed up duo, but... Whatever. We got a weird sinking team with us as it is, so... Uh, let's go with them. Go with... Uh, you go with Cordelia. Are we all paired up? I think so. I have no idea what we're going to do with this group, though. Also, why can't I grab that stinking thing? You guys are kind of useless, so I'll just have you grab the sparkly warkly. Hopefully there's not too many sparkles around here. There's one, there's two. Um, it's usually just two per board. Okay. It's only two. I don't even know what to do. Just charge, I guess. Hopefully I don't regret it too much. Don't have anything like... Okay, just bunch up together like that. Okay. And they're just charging. Oh, the, the leader is charging. Does that mean if he goes down, do we win? I doubt it. But he's not one to sit idly by and let his army do all the work for him. He's actually going to fight alongside them right from the beginning. Such a weird thing in battle. It's like the Coliseum thing. We're like, why are we like having a second match of like teamworkness? I don't get it entirely. Oh, that can't be good. Uh, why are we just having like a friendly match and like people could die in this match? So like, what happens when that happens? It's a uh, experience. I don't care. Um. Well. Guess we're gonna do the thing now. Sumia, who are you with? You're alone? Okay, of course I forget Sumia in the end. Uh, give her whatever this is. Weapon proficiency, hooray. Uh, Sarja, you do what you do best. I should have given you a better tome, though. Uh, does anyone else have a Nosferatu on hand? I don't think so. But... Hopefully, my god, only a 45% chance of hitting. Hmm. And it still doesn't even kill him. These guys are stinking powerful. They're all level 20 whatevers. This is terrifying. Uh, who's with you? Krom's with you. I don't even think I could do this. This is impossible. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I thought so. Wait, that was Henry's voice? When he said, like, brace yourself! He sounded, like, normal for a second there. That was really weird. Parallel Falchion? Okay, we got a critical. Got rid of one. One down, 49 more to go. Uh, this is not possible. Why am I even trying? Are you alone? Why is Maribel alone? Team up with someone, my god. Dumb. Uh, Cherish? How many of you are archers that are going to murder her on the first attack? Uh, switch. Uh, this battle is outright impossible. This is like the ultimate final boss, like the extra super hard mode boss. Uh, it's our Pit of 100 Trials match, basically. Uh, a versus alone? What the fruit was I even doing? I couldn't see that people were not all together. Oh, if I could do this. Oh, no, we can't kill him, though. Maybe... If I could just make an opening and then go for him. I want to know if I could kill him. Uh, If I pair her up with someone, she only works well with Robin. Well, she can only grow a relationship with Robin. 
I don't even know where Robin is in this group of weirdos. Transfer Robin over to Aversa, see if this is possible. Let's find out. Um, Robin, can you do any... Oh, you could get really sinking close. But if Robin does it, we won't get the thing, so we have to have Aversa do it. Switch to Robin. Have her equip this. Switch to Aversa. Have her use baloney, I guess. Uh, grant speed plus two. Uh, use rally and as well. Three spaces. That's another magic. Use dark magic. Let's use attacks once again, defeating a foe once per turn. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Looking for a miracle. I didn't get one. So now she's gonna get murdered, and this whole plan's gonna go to bust. Cool. Uh, let's just go up here, I guess. Let's go this way. Maybe give him a distraction. Yeah, Frederick is actually gonna survive this. Yeah, stinking right. This is impossible. I cannot do this at all. I do not know how anyone would even be able to pull this off. And Sully's alone somehow because I'm not good at this. So let's see how quickly everyone gets killed. Sully, meat shield, yay! Damn. That's unfortunate, but... Prolongs our death just a little bit longer. I guess I appreciate you for that sense. Oh, he's going down here. Yeah, I'm impressed. Now show me what you're made of. So you're not going for like... Uh... Oh, jeez. Um... Oh! Huh? Okay. God darn it! Well, somehow he survived. Lissa, you're amazing. But... That did not go as I would have hoped. I would have loved it if you just landed a hit. I'm actually really uh, intrigued as to whether or not we're going to survive this turn. He has 45 turns. Thank you for the miracle, but... Probably not going to work more than once. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. You know, there's 45 units. I'm just going to, like, skip ahead. Uh, Sumio goes down. Uh, Cordelia. Aversa! So my plan's ruined. Cool, and Robin's about to get killed. Yep. No, Robin. I'm so sad. I'll need a miracle to pull this off. So, I may have misinterpreted what the bonus teams are in the bonus box. Do they give you characters to just outright use without working for them? Um, these are all yield timey time characters. Could he join us? Parlay. Um. Okay, they didn't give new artwork for every single character. Can I recruit you? It costs money, of course it does. Items are not included. Challenge teams will fight. If you win, you can recruit the team leader. Items are not included. The team will be more powerful at higher difficulties. Huh. 
So I could either just outright buy them, or I could recruit them after beating them. But if they're tough, I don't know. Hmm. That might be my only way of winning this fight, though, by recruiting these kick-butt people. These are, like, every character from every Fire Emblem game? I don't even know who to go for. Also, it's kind of funny that these characters are Japanese exclusive at this point. Um, Mystery of the Emblem. Is my, is my girl here my favorite character? Uh, it's funny that I recognize these names because of Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, I want to find my girl. I'll show off one of these fights and I'll just be with my favorite character. Uh, if I could find her, that is. I don't even know what game she's from. I think it would be this one. There she is! Nino. She's level 10, though. A level 10 mage. Huh. Um, can I help you? View stats, I guess? Oh, it'd be awesome if we could recruit you, but I don't think she'll be super useful to us. Recruit her for 5800G. Yeah, she's a bit cheaper because she's not all that great at this point in time. Let's fight her just for the sake of experience? And then... There's not that many characters here. Robin... I mean, I guess this is fine. They're short battles. I'm gonna... I love this song. Uh, I'm gonna do some off-screen training, I guess. Because I really want to get that guy to join us, but... It's going to be difficult. Uh, Lucina and Tiki got maxed out, so it was just Basile and Flavia. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of him. How much experience do we get off these guys? Not that much. Uh, you pair up. You pair up. Don't really want to waste your... Uh, weapons. Is Nino the boss? She is. Um. Let's get this over here. Uh, Salif's Blade. I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I was not expecting that battle to be insane, but like, I looked up tips real quick online, and it's, uh, mutually agreed that it is a pure evil fight. Uh, let's use, let's use that, I guess. Go and do that. Huh. But yeah, Nino is probably my favorite Fire Emblem character of all time. She's the one I have as my leader in Fire Emblem Heroes. Just because she said something very sweet in her communication session. I know I said that I kind of was considering um, having communication sessions or like interactions with the Fire Emblem Heroes characters be sprinkled throughout this entire LP. I never wound up doing that because uh, this LP wound up being a lot longer uh, in episode length and in length of episodes than I thought it was going to be. So I decided against doing that, but I would definitely like to show off Nino's uh, communication session after we recruit her. If you're wondering how that works in Fire Emblem Heroes, after you get a character uh, to be a 5 star unit at level 40, then you get to hear a special message from them. And after hearing her message, it easily made her my favorite character. Plus, she's just sinking adorable. I will become worthy. I will! I've got your back. Here's how it's done. There. Hmm. 
Malord. And we get a Malord every time we do one of these. Cool. Recruit Nino. The unit will be added to your avatar logbook regardless. Sure. I could travel with you? Is there a limit to this? I hope not. But either way, I'm glad to have her with us. Your renown has increased. Whatever that means. So I'm gonna cut away, I guess. And after I get like a buttload of dudes, I might come back and fight the annoying descendant of Ike. I'll see you in a hot minute, I suppose. I'm so happy to be here, where I can spend time with so many nice people. Every day is so fun! I had this once before, surrounded by people I loved. They were all my family. That life is over. But it was so much fun while it lasted. I'm glad now, thinking back on it. Those memories were painful for a while, but you helped me remember the good times. Thank you! I promise to work so very hard for you. Just you wait and see! <sighs> Welp. I tried. What I did was... I could not for the life of me beat Priam. So I tried to go to the bonus boxes and recruit the bonus team members. However... I was specifically looking for the strongest of the strong, the ones that are like at the bottom of each list. But you could either buy them for a buttload of cash, which I don't have, or you could fight them and win them that way, which I wasn't able to do. And even if you do recruit them, they come with no weapons, so I would have to buy them all new weapons and they wouldn't even be the ones that are making them as powerful as they are when you're fighting them yourself. So, for that reason, unless I completely reshape and reinvent and put in hours and hours of work into creating the ultimate characters on my own, I don't think I could actually get Prime to join us. I'm sorry that it turned out that way, but I don't know if I could actually do it. It would take way too much time, and I'm not sure I'm up to the task. At least not at this point in time. Maybe in the future, if I have time for it, maybe um, once this LP is over, I could uh, go back and uh, build up these characters and have a bonus video. But for now, since we saw the opening cutscene where we met him, I would at least like to show you what it's like if you do defeat him and get him to join you. And yes, you do indeed need to get rid of every character on the field. It's not just the leader, even though they aren't risen. It's a battle of ultimate power, so you have to prove that you're worthy of his assistance. Here's what happens if you defeat him. Seems I've been a big fish in a small pond for too long. It's time I saw the open sea again. Sign me up. Excellent, and welcome aboard. You're leaving us, Priam? But we'll be adrift without you. You were an inspiration of every man here, and a true friend. That man wears a Valmese knight's armor, and there's a Ferroxy swordsman. I also see one of Ulysses Pegasus Knights. And is that a Pelagian Wyvern Rider? You have a small army here, Priam. How did this happen? They came to challenge me and never left. We'll not hold you back, Priam. This world has need for men like you. But do us the honor of one last match before you set sail. Haha. <laughs> Alright, you're on. Er, sorry, Krom. I'll try to make this quick. He actually means to challenge them all? Regardless of skill or the crest they wear, he treats them all as peers. Despite the violence, I could see a kind of peace in it. A brotherhood. Perhaps he'll help us craft a world where this is the only sort of fighting left. A unique ally to be sure, and one of radiant legacy. However, I'm afraid we won't be able to have him assist us in this final battle. Which is annoying considering that he's only not helping us save the world because he doesn't think we're cool enough. He can't save the world on his own, no! Why would he do that? Now he's just gonna hang out in his little field because we're not cool enough to recruit him. And again, he can only romance he can only communicate with Robin because Robin's sexuals. So this video might be a bit shorter than originally planned, so for that reason I'll include the Nino footage in this one just like 
making it a bit longer. Hopefully I'll make it a bit more interesting and you'll enjoy what I put together. But I did put in one little extra thing for you as well. It's the Baracks, our last trip to the Baracks. Mr. and Mrs. Obama, what do we got? Uh, we have experience for Viron. how wonderful. And a communication between Tiki and Rickon, who can't even have a communication sec session together, so there's no point in their talking. But for real, we are going to check out the final communication session between Basilo and Flavia. This is going to be the last communication session in the entire game. So now you can finally stop hearing me say communication session. I don't know why, maybe no one else finds it annoying, but like, I wish I was able to come up with a shorter name for it than just saying support. Maybe I should have just done that now that I say it out loud for the first time. Let's get this over with. Yes? Oh, the siren returns. I knew you couldn't resist the old Basilo charm for long. That's it. I'm leaving. Hold on. Wait, don't go. It was only a jest. I'd still like to talk. We had fun last time, eh? At least until you drew your sword. Truth is, I was hoping we could speak about the future of Ragnaferox. No. You're not in charge anymore, Ov. You had your day in the sun. I'm the ruler now, and my decisions to be made will be mine alone. Oh, great. I, I grant that I have neither rights nor responsibilities. The power is yours. But I thought that as a former ruler, I might be able to offer some advice and support. What? Pah! I can only imagine the counsel you would offer. Well then, out with it. What is your sage advice, oh wise bald one? Alright. Ragnaferox is a cold land, and the chill cuts deep. Once the war's over, you might consider moving some subjects to a more pleasant... <sighs> Move people out of the kingdom? But that would only serve to weaken us. Huh? Indeed. In these times of strife and conflict, it would be a foolish and a reckless act. But once peace comes, why not give the injured and the elderly a chance to rest? <clears throat> I suppose it could make for a good boost to morale. You see? I have lots more notions where that came from, too. I'm full of them. A well-traveled man like myself has the experience to think around corners. You can gain loads of new ideas by studying other cultures and customs. Rulers should always visit their other nations before taking the reins of their own land. At least that's how old Basilo sees it. Oh my. You speak wisdom, Basilo. Ahem. <laughs> Which, frankly, is completely out of character. Nah. Ah, uh, you raised your shield again, but I caught a glimpse of your true feelings. Be it to do with romance, mead, or matters of state. You enjoy my company. Admit it. Now we're talking. Yes, well, I won't deny that time spent with you can sometimes be... Interesting. Still, that doesn't change the fact that I now sit upon the throne. Whether I choose to take your advice or not is entirely up to me. Oh, great. Yeah, I'd have it no other way, oh mighty Conragen. <laughs> well then, I look forward to hearing your other ideas when the time comes. Alright. We have a date then, though first there's a little war that needs finishing. Leave it to me. Yes, but even before that, this mead needs finishing. I saved your last bottle. Why can they not be relationship baptized? I have no idea. They're clearly, like, even if they don't want to admit it, we saw what she was like when we thought Basila was gone. And I kind of wish there was a bit more of a heartwarming conversation between the two, but I guess the fact that they're, uh, I guess, so unfiltered between each other shows how close they are. So... We went ahead and did that, and this is our entire team. We've recruited some unlikely allies in more ways than one. Some of them were not originally planning to be part of a war. Some of them came from the other side of the battlefield. But in the end, we all have one common goal to save the world from destruction. No matter what side of the war you live on, no matter who you fight for, no matter where you come from, I think that's a goal 
we could all share and work together to accomplish. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, the finale, we're taking down the fell dragon Grima. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.